Today we're going to be talking about how to remember all that you read. Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. So after this video, hopefully you will have better tips or better ideas on how to remember all that you read because at the end of the day, don't we want that to remember what works for us and help us in our lives? Yes, I believe we do. First of all, what am I supposed to do now? Don't limit yourself. I know there's people that say you should uh, always underline and write on the margins and do this thing and do that thing, do whatever works for you, but don't put a ceiling on your tastes. I mean, if you're into drawing and getting colored pencils all over the place and underlining and writing on the margins, I love that. Go do it, enjoy it. That's gonna make you awesome. And then those things that you're like, okay, this works for me. You're gonna underline them and your conscious mind will like tell your subconscious, okay, this is important. And that will help you out when you sleep. That's what's gonna help you out. Remember those things. So just go in there, do your thing, underline if you like that don't put a ceiling on yourself second thing do a five minute recap of what you read that helps so much our mind and our brains just naturally like filter out everything that we don't need and it just retains the most important things because otherwise imagine if we remembered every single detail of our life how would that be oh yeah I wore this and this and this and that. maybe the bandwidth wouldn't be sufficient you know it'd be like all clogged up you're like uploading too many videos to the internet and your sister can't watch Netflix anymore and you're like ah! Well, that would happen to our brains, perhaps. I think so. I'm not sure about that. Let's get some studies in there. If you know anything about it, let me know. Okay, so after you've read, write five minutes. Like, what was most interesting to you? What you learned? Okay, I learned this and this and this and this. And that will help your brain cement the important thing. Huh? Isn't that amazing? I know it is. I know it is. Okay, and third thing we're gonna do. Please take care of yourself. Sharpen the saw. The most important thing, sleep. If you try to learn but you don't sleep or eat, in a healthy manner, things are gonna go sh shithole sideways, all right? Get some sleep, eat the best you can, work out, exercise, take care of yourself, take care of your body. That is, we are our bodies. Take care of it, love it, give yourself a break, and just read whatever you want. I know I always say that, but that's so important. If you're like reading shit that doesn't truly interest you, it's never gonna work out. Or maybe like if you just ram it in there, ram it in there. I know there are things that you just gotta ram it in there, but try to catch the glimpse of it, not just monotonously remember words, but get the meaning of it, try to get what is behind this, how would I explain this to someone else? That leads me to another thing. Whenever you read, try to teach. Teach someone, talk about it. You know, tell your mother, tell your parent, tell your spouse, your siblings, what are you reading? What is your book about? Why is it interesting? And communicating this and trying to do it in like a simple manner will help a lot. Perhaps this is why I make these videos, you know? Go make a video, that'll help you out. Make a video for some someone else, teach them that, whatever you're learning, and that will help a lot. I hope these tips work for you, that you enjoy them, you can get a lot out of them, and thank you for watching. If you like this, please consider subscribing. Big hug. Bye-bye.